And welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and to everybody on YouTube for some Grixis control over in Historic. So the kind of the goal of our deck here um, is to be able to have seven mana in play with Fires of Invention in play, and then we can play Nickel Bolas the Ravager and immediately flip it for seven mana there. Um, as you can see with my deck here, I'm not really building the deck completely around Fires of Invention and trying to make Fires of Invention the best possible. I'm really just trying to make a, a pretty good Grixis control list that has that just kind of has Fires of Invention in it, where it's not a focal point of the deck, but it just has it has Fires in here because, of course, whenever you do have Fires, um, it can you know can make your turns a lot better, allowing you to double spell, um, but. Like I was just mentioning, you know, we could drop Nickel Bolas the Ravager and then flip it, you know, for zero mana because of fires and then flip it immediately for seven mana. Um, but it, it should make Nickel Bolas Dragon God a lot better. And and instead of playing cards like um, like kind of the, the clunky cards like Fae of Wishes, Drawn from Dreams, all that kind of stuff, where they're awesome if you have Fires of Invention and a bunch of mana and everything, I'm not really playing that kind of stuff. I'm playing like Angrath instead. I just really like Angrath. I think Angrath's always been just an underrated Planeswalker. I um, think it's quite strong, especially in like a, you know, in Grixis where you're trying to kind of trade resources a lot. Um, and I think Angrath pairs pretty well with Nicol Bolas, like where maybe if we can have a Fire Zone Invention and then on turn five be able to play both of these cards. Uh, I think that could be pretty awesome of like play Angrath first, make them discard a card, and then play Nicol Bolas and tick up, and then they got to exile another permanent, and then they better answer Nicol Bolas otherwise... Um, uh, otherwise they're in a lot of trouble but of course Angrath can you know use the steel ability to be able to help pick off planeswalkers and everything and just making opponents discard their hand is usually a, a really good thing to do because if you make them get rid of their hand then play Nicol Bolas and they don't have anything to kill your Nicol Bolas and life is pretty awesome um, so that's kind of like what I got going on here I got a few Royal Scions oh one I have one Royal Scions that can kind of loot if we have extra copies of fires can loot them away um or uh it, or you know can go find fires or go find more more win conditions and just th threaten to ultimate really quickly um as kanta of course just perfect with uh fires of invention if you flip this thing you can be using your mana to activate search for his kanta People have kind of realized how good it is to activate like Castle Vantress with Fires of Invention in play, but Ascanta is just going to be even better where you can be using Ascanta to refill your hand. Like that, that just seems pretty awesome. Um, anyway, uh, I'm not, not really making concessions to the mana base though. Like, like I said, like fitting in Castle Vantress and stuff, because I'm not, I'm not trying to make this the best Fires of Invention deck. I'm just kind of making a good Grixis control list that has Fires of Invention in it. Um, you can also tell that I'm, I'm not really making a ton of concessions for mono red. You know, I'm not playing a bunch of, um, enter the God Eternals, which we certainly could, especially with fires of invention, uh, to, to try to really, uh, beat mono red, um, which this could be, this could certainly be tuned a lot better for mono red, but instead I'm just kind of trying to build, or I'm trying to beat other mid range and combo decks. You know, I'm, I'm more focused on, uh, field of the dead and Kethis and Nexus, um, and Esper Control and uh, decks like that uh, instead. So let's see how it goes. We're going to just go and go ahead and play some over in Ranked. I'm going to play some Grixis Control. I haven't played Nickel Bolas the Ravager in a minute. Excited to play this card again. Let's give it a try. Yeah, I mean, even I think that would be fine even against the Oko decks. That's that's another one that you know, like with all the Ritual of Soots, you just kind of use our Planeswalker removal on Oko. Um, you know, Ritual of Soot away their board, and then you know, Nickel Bolas make them the five mana Nickel Bolas make them exile permanents. So 
So I don't think that's that's going to be our hardest matchup. I, I do think Mono Red would be our hardest matchup. Likely. Yeah, Star of Extinction is pretty awesome with Fires of Invention. That is true. If you have your seven mana, you get to play... get to play Star of Extinction, wipe the board, and then drop something else big. I think you kind of have to... You're going to have to be able to ramp, though, to, to really be able to pull that off. It's it's pretty slow and historic. So you're, you're going to have to... So that's, that's one thing. You'd have to be able to ramp. Hey, Hitchens. Yeah. Um, that's not going to do it. Yep, I'm back. Took, took a, a few days off. Had a little holiday vacation, but I... But I'm back. Yeah, uh, Legion War Boss is certainly a route to go in the sideboard against those kind of decks. I'm just going with Ego and Ashiok for those kind of matchups. Uh, no, I don't think I don't think there's a best historic deck right now. I mean, Field of the Dead is definitely one of the options, but I don't think it's just the best. I don't think they're... I wouldn't say anything is the best right now. All right, let's give this a try. Uh, this is rough. Yeah, I think I think Scions is just fine. I mean, it has just so much loyalty; it's not really going to get attacked. And it's going to help. You know, obviously, like, Scions doesn't help me from getting killed, but Scion helps me after I uh, stabilize the first wave. It helps me continue to find gas and be able to continue to stabilize and, and finish the game out, which is a valuable trait in a card. It's the same role as Search for Escanta, basically. <sighs> which I do like Search for Escanta. I hate these lands. As Kant is going to really help out our draw steps. It's a terrible use of once upon a time. Always untap. I don't. I don't know how many times. It, it seems like people would do this a lot more than just play Once Upon a Time correctly. Just untap, draw your card, you have more information, then cast your Once Upon a Time. I feel like it's not a difficult concept to grasp.
unfortunate. This is not a good card to draw. I, I want that nickel bolus. But I guess we're closer towards finding another black source. So unfortunate. One card down. We're one card off. Obviously, if we would have drawn this last turn. Would have been able to kill both of these. We'd only be at nine. Life would have been manageable. All right, own one. No, I mean, that was Drowned Catacomb. <laughs> I know, the, the blue-red lands are definitely the worst. I have the extra blue-red land because of playing in the second Narset, but... Yeah. Uh, no, we were not alive. Because Questing Beast... We didn't ha Our Sweeper didn't kill Questing Beast. The blue red lands are the worst. I don't think I'm supposed to go to five against an opponent keeping seven. Hey, Azra left. Yes, I did have a very good holiday. Thank you, thank you. Glad to be back. Oh my gosh. How are we drawing all of our blue red lands? Walk with me, sing with me. I will welcome to the feast. So obviously next turn I'm going to be playing Fires of Invention and then Bedevil and killing Oko with the Bedevil. Then the following turn I could play Nicol Bolas plus another card. Surely you see the humor here. Which wouldn't necessarily be bad for me. I mean it's it's better than than us not drawing any sp spells at all. Um, the big problem, of course, though, is the Deputy of Detention. You know, if I don't have the, the black mana, they Deputy the Fires. I don't have, like, another spell to play. I'm in a lot of trouble. Power surges through these lands. 
However, if they would just play like a Nissa, this wouldn't have been a bad time for Nicobolas to be able to kill Nissa, though. So my hands have been uh, pretty awful so far. These eight blue red lands have been such a pleasant part of my mana base so far. All right, let's give this a try. All right, starting with Thought Erasure. Yeah, I could definitely get rid of Narset and be able to play less blue. The thing is, is like the first two blue red lands aren't aren't that bad. It's the third one. You know, there's eight in the deck. We just never want to draw. We just never want to draw. Um. Never really want to draw three blue red lands. There's just a good amount of decks that are trying to draw cards, and um, Narset is just so good at times. Maybe I shouldn't have ever played this Fires of Invention. Really played the nickel bolus before because they would just fight it with the wicked wolf. Truth lies 
beyond vision. <laughs> the Legion of Goose has ended. Cost seven mana to, to transform Nicol Bolas. We don't have seven mana. <clears throat> Not yet. We need to draw a land. I'll even take a blue red land. Okay, so no land drawn. I can't really risk it. Ascanta should be able to help us find a land. Hey, Radical Guru. Holidays were great. Too many days of eating too much food, though. I will yeah, they would have turned Nicol Bolas into an elk here. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, we could get a historic Biogenic Ooze. Biogenic Ooze is such a sweet card. Um, so, you know, I need to get kind of back into streaming shape. Uh, that's a good one, though. Maybe I shouldn't have kept that. I will spare you. Yeah, I guess I should have only this. For eternal servitude. Suffer or for put that to the bottom. Cause. I mean. If I would have put it if I would have put it in the graveyard, then I would have been able to activate as Kanta. I will return one day. Well, I guess I, I can't activate can as Kanta and activate Nicol Bolas, never mind. Never mind, never mind. I don't know. So basically, like, you know, use that as, like, a sacrificial card to get rid of the Oko. Gosh. Krasis is their worst card? Are you kidding me? Kneel before your god. So I want Oko, Ugin, or Nicol Bolas. Can't grab Oko. It's not really any difference between Ugin or Nicol Bolas. Could also get Questing Beast. The dead shall serve me. The whole of the multiverse will bend to my will.
defiance has consequence. I hope they don't have another questing beast. Too much haste. Too many questing beasts and nisses. The... If I just didn't play Fires of Invention just on turn four, if I would have just held up Noxious Grasp, I could have saved four life by Noxious Grasping the questing beast the turn they played it. And then on my turn six, I could have just played Fires and then Ugin. So I could have gained... I could have just saved four life by going that route. Um... Obviously, Ritual of Soot's a very important card for us in that matchup with all the, the mana creatures and all the other small creatures they get to make with their different... Um, with their Planeswalkers, and, you know, we saw zero Ritual of Soot's in the matchup, and that's one of our most important cards, if not maybe our most important. Yeah, Thanksgiving's just a, it's a one-day thing. As uh, It's... Yeah, it's just a, it's a one day thing. Um, I just hadn't I hadn't uh, taken a, a vacation at all all year, and I traveled down to a friend's house and spent uh, and just took took a few days off and spent time with them. Prob oh, never mind. I was thinking maybe a feather deck. My prowess is unmatched. By I have just the trick for this. All right. Well, we actually got stuff. <laughs> yep. It's good to be back, Radical Guru. Alright, I gotta destroy those now before the history of Benalia makes them all like five power. So this is like the curve that our deck is trying to do for sure. Best hand we had so far. Hmm. Kind of feels like Ember Cleave. All right, so if it's Ember Cleave and I block, Dragon God does not die. So we'll go ahead and block. All we need is one more card in the graveyard, then we can flip as Kanta, ramp for, for Nicol Bolas the Ravager. And 
and this one's over. There we go. All right, another ritual of soot. Another Liliana. Basically bringing in all the removal. Kind of just taking out the auto erasure because it's, it's not going to be a good top deck. I think we would just want removal, you know, like having a discard spell on a creature. It's, might as well just have a removal spell on the creature, but, you know, like later on in the game, we want to be able to top deck um, removal spells, not thought erasures. I'll play one Thought Erasure, one Angrath. Hey, yeah, the trip was good. The trip was definitely good. Um, back at it, playing Historic and enjoying Historic so far. We're playing against just a lot of different decks all the time. And that's always fun. I guess I'm supposed to put that card back. Good thing we got all these blue red lands. We have 18 black sources in the deck. And it definitely feels like 18 is not enough. We need a 19th. Well, that's not very fair. And Grixis is still bad just because I lost two matches. With an untuned deck I put together today. That's not very fair. Make sweeping conclusions about the the color combination. So likely the Royal Scions will be exiled with this Devout Decree. I'm not mad at. Now our Ravager should be able to Ravage. But of course first we need to get rid of these 2-2s. Two now if my opponent has a Danto Vanguard after I use that Cry of the Cranarium, I'll be sad. Probably not too likely, though.
All right, so we'll just take two here. That's that thing. Alright, one and two. Historic is... One thing about Historic is the matches are, are certainly going faster than in Standard. The decks are better, so the, the games end faster. Decks are better at winning. And so that's been good. You know, like with Standard, how we've been struggling, like even just finishing four matches per league. With Historic, you know, it seems like we were able to play five matches. This could be good. Got to get some interaction on turn two and three. They, yeah, um, yeah, th with Historic, they had a, a set called Historic Anthologies that, um, They added 20 new cards, too. To the format. Yeah, standard does get faster with more sets. You know, just the more sets that you have, the, the more powerful the format is. I know, yeah, that is that is true that the decks that said that we we're kinda lining up our deck to focus on we're not facing at all. In my image. Hey, Matthew. Yeah, doing really good. Uh, congratulations on the new my job and everything. How's that going? Without limit. I mean, we, we do have four on more ego for Nexus. Yeah, we have played just a ton of variety here in Historic. I mean, these... These blue-green Oko decks today have been the decks that we're playing against the most so far. Three matches out of nine. But that's not too bad. And then I don't, I don't know if we've really played against anything else twice. Yeah, Veil Summer Counters Ego. Yep. The hope is with the, the three duress and the fourth auto erasure that you can kind of help 
be able to set up a clean on Mordigo, but yeah, they could definitely counter it. That can happen. I guess I just take out Angrath. I don't I don't want to take out Angrath. I like Angrath here. I don't really have cards to take out. <laughs> Alright, just got your badge and uniform. Hey, that's good. That's still good. This is basically the exact same hand as last time. If if we draw well, this you know, like we have the mana to be able to curve out well. We just kinda have to draw the cards to curve out to exactly what we just kept. Oh yeah, it was really good, Sanvin. Yeah, it's definitely just a really good break. Um you know, I'm preparing to work for the every day the rest of the year now. Hopefully that's the plan after taking that long break. Um, but yeah, that was really nice. I definitely ate way too much over the last few days. And so I'm kind of out of streaming shape. I can tell just, you know, like this is like second deck that we've played, you know, third hour of streaming now and... I'm already kind of tired. You know, it's felt feels like I've been streaming for like six hours, even though it's only been three so far. So I need to get back into streaming shape. Basically, spell equals keep. Yeah, the turkey burger is real good. Yeah, that's what... Yeah, we didn't have, like, traditional turkey. We had turkey burgers. But then, you know, all the sides. A lot of pie. You've been driving since 10.30 p.m. last night? That's a lot of driving. They're just holding up negates. Possible. Okay, so not negate. So it could be Veil of Summer. Could be Veil of Summer. Contempting Questing Beast is like my best possible thing to do. Uh, 10 30 a.m. That makes more sense. Um, this is playing Ritual of Soot is the move that doesn't have as much risk to it. Unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, Veil of Summer has been such a devastating card in these three green matchups that we played.
Hey, Rochi, and I'm doing great. So good. I cannot exploit. Yeah, Rochian with that resub. Love your stream and the pets. Uh, thank you so much, there, Rochian. I don't. I don't think the historic necessarily needs the same bands as Pioneer. Necessarily. I don't think it needs to be a hard fast rule. I uh, so that's number 12 on the day, actually. Hey, Vitellius. Vacation was great. Yeah, so pro yeah, problem here, of course, is another questing beast would kill me. Yeah, Ugin's gonna be able to kill. Ugin can kill this questing beast. We don't have to worry about Vela Summer for U, for Ugin's sake. It's just another one would kill me. Um. I'll go with Bedevil here because I guess they could off of this Veil of Summer. I'm giving them like another draw towards a Negate or a Disdainful Stroke. I, I think it's more likely they draw a negate or a disdainful stroke than them have the fourth veil. But yeah, I would have died immediately to a fourth veil for sure. We're going to be pretty dead to kind of everything. Yeah, I'm surprised. I haven't, I haven't seen any Field of the Dead at all yet. Magnificent world. Be wary of the ground you walk on. Conceivable. They just had. Oh, they couldn't. They had to tap their four. So I was like, "What? Didn't they just have lethal?" <laughs> Surely you see the humor here. Do not defy the desire. This be gone, interloper. I have a few openings for more minions, if you're interested. Ah, perish!
it should just end up with us losing, but guess guess you never know. This would be a great time to be able to find Star of Extinction. The rear deck needs some Star of Extinctions. Blech. Yeah, that doesn't really help. Definitely thought about making a food with Nicol Bolas. My schemes are certainly considered that. Instead of drawing a card. Have been foiled. is all about them schemes. All right, let's see what we get. I think I'd rather keep the Ritual of Soot in the library. I'll draw on lands. Give me this. You're just your crew for my freedom. <laughs> A fair price. Having infinite mana with Ascanta is pretty sweet, though. Ascanta fires of invention is pretty awesome. We have to like draw a spell and then also find a spell with Ascanta though. Oh dear. <laughs> Should have been more precise. No fire, no steel. Ah, uh, we're just dead. Maybe they don't realize that they just turned their land war elf into a 3-3 and kill me. Cool. I guess they didn't realize that. One by. And all your oh, come on, really? No 
fire, no steel. It's been like five turns in a row for us to draw nothing. Like we've just been surviving on the Escanta. Our draw step's been just a blank card for the last five turns. And this is obviously not a time where you can just draw nothing for five turns in a row. Okay. It's finally something. I think I I think I grab Oko. And start making food to gain life. Good job, Salmon. Witness omnipotence. Yeah, I could grab Questing Beast, which means that we wouldn't die to a Questing Beast. If I grab Oko, we still die to a Questing Beast. For this turn. But all of our next turns, as long as they don't have Questing Beast this turn, all of our future turns are going to be good. Tale about me is absolute nonsense. I could and absolutely true. Surely you must be. I could minus three the Angrass, and then we don't die to Questing Beast, which I guess we're at that point. That we just don't want to. We just don't want to die. Your crew for my freedom. Because a long game, we should be pretty favored in a long game, especially having us cancer from here. So we're basically just... It's not the... It's not the best value play wasting Angroth on Land War Elf. But at least now we don't die to Questing Beast. Huh. Oh, I, I changed it to one and three. I guess I guess we won game one also, so that would have just been this is just game two. But I guess we didn't actually lose this yet. Because my opponent didn't kill me. If you do Dragon God and then pick something else, Dragon God minus fours, Dragon God just dies immediately. But yeah, we could have just done that just to have the Dragon God in play for a little bit. I could I could just go infinite Dragon Gods, just play it minus four, get the other Dragon God, minus four, get the other one, minus four, get the other one, and so on. Why do you have to get a third questing beast? Is that the last game? No. Yeah, I guess that was only the second one. That hurts, obviously, because that kills Nicol Bolas. And we have nothing. The next five cards couldn't help. I guess I need to grab their questing beast. That's like that's like my bet that was my best card against specifically questing beast. Hey, welcome back, Kendis. Thanks, Kendis.
Questing Beast and Veil of Summer. Those have been the two cards that have just been killing me. Whoops, sorry. Sorry about that. Questing Beast and Veil of Summer. Basically, every game we've lost has been those two cards. Try playing a couple of the duress on the draw to try to be able to take Oko, Nissa, Vela Summer. Disdainful Stroke. Mystical Dispute. All that kind of stuff. That was definitely the turn my opponent needed to draw. That was definitely the turn they needed to draw Questing Beast, though. You know, one more turn, we un if we untap with the, the other Nicol Bolas, we get to plus it up, draw multiple cards. Like, we're good. Like, that was their one shot of winning that, was getting the Questing Beast that turn. But they did. I'm only playing 25 lands here. I'm not playing 26. Which I think normally would want like 26 lands. I'm only playing 25 though. So hopefully we don't flood as bad as we did the last game also. Again. Seriously? Leyline of Abundance? At least the Nickel Balls traded for three cards. Um, the Ley Line, the Aether Gust, and the Disdainful Stroke, even though it was kind of technically two Nickel Balls, so it was you know, another draw step. So it wasn't a three for one, it was like a three for two. dead yet.
And of course, played the extra land because of a mystical dispute. Want to make sure to get that in play first. Witness a moat of my power. Alright, so there's only 15 more lands out of the next 45 cards. Make that 9 out of 44 now. And they could just be making food with the goose and then exiling the food, but I guess they really want to scry with castle. There we go. That was what I wanted to see. I wanted to see if we would be able to draw Thought Erasure first. Because <laughs> no obviously we just have infinite mana. And that's why I didn't. Cast Grass Blast Turn. Um... I don't think we need to set the goose. I would, I would put them down to just four mana, though. This game's not over if they draw another... It's not over if they draw another Oko. Well, that was good. For me. That they, that they made that thing a 3-3 three, three instead of just making it a 2-2. Two, two. And now they don't they don't have the food anymore to exile. Let your weak minds crumble. Alright. Dragon God took it down. So we're actually two and two. We finally beat Questing Beast Veil of Summer combo. Took a few games. Alright, we did it. <laughs> does... <laughs> it does make that... Um, yeah, it does make me beating the green decks more satisfying because those cards are pretty hard to beat. Alright, time to draw spells. Legion's End, that's good. That's a spell. I'll draw spells. That's a good one. It's a spell. Why this deck can afford to keep a 5 lander with 2 4 drops? Um, because we're not trying... We're not proactive. Like, this is a, a reactive deck, so we're not... We're not trying to curve out or anything. Um... 
our deck has tons of two and three mana cards also. We're on the draw. So we're just trying to draw into those. I think being able to see our opponent's hand is probably pretty valuable. Yeah, another Jade Light. Why would they not keep Oko? That's pretty good. Making them discard two Krasis. Ah, that's why they didn't keep Oko. Revel with your king. Because they had one. And sovereign. <laughs> Surely you see the humor here. <laughs> that tickled. Hmm. I mean, I guess I just cast Thought Erasure right now. Come on, computer. Come on, you can do it. Come on. All right, there it goes. Just had to cast something. Mm. And so this is just, you know, kill the Jade Light Ranger. I feel like we can be doing better than that. No fire, no steel. Oh, of course, of course that was a bad keep in face of an aggro deck. Of course. You don't just always face aggro, though. Fires, fires doesn't really help that against aggro either. Not too much. It was a hand, you know, keeping a five land hand is just a hand where you're going to be able to play your spells. Which we were able to do. We played our spells. Um, and we lost. Which doesn't mean you're always going to win, but alternative is good mulligan and have hands that don't let us play our spells, don't have lands. And with me, like if I was playing a 26 land deck, I wouldn't like that hand as much, but... Playing a 25 land deck, I like it more because there's a little bit less chance that I'm drawing lands.
really want Liliana. Hey, what's up, Goat? Thank you so much for that Twitch Prime sub. I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, Angrath is a lot better against the combo and control decks that we haven't seen. That is true. Another option for that slot is, is Rao. Um, Rao's another underrated five mana planeswalker. Could certainly have been better in these green matchups. I'm still going to be able to Krasis and draw two here. I wish I knew I was going to draw a Ritual of Set. I don't really want to use one of these on Krasis. So I'm thinking about just passing and holding these up and being able to play one of these at end step. Um, it's either that or, of course, just play fires and then play one. <laughs> hey, Justin, me. Yep. Yep, answer that, of course. But yeah, no, the, the weekend trip was very good. And... Um, you know, glad we had it, but also happy to be back. So obviously they didn't they didn't attack with this land war elf. It, it's because they can activate this and create a food, but it could also be that they're holding in a gate as well. So the safe play is to bedevil this land war elf. And then... And then second main, then they add blue and second, you know, they add mana, second main, we ritual, so that would have been the safer play. It did not go with the safe play, went with the higher upside play. Cost me both cards, so now they get to keep these three creatures.
All right, we got to get game three on the draw. Yeah, I think normally Goose is probably better. I don't know. They're already going to have two food. We haven't really seen Wicked Wolf. Like, I don't think they're playing Wicked Wolf. Yeah, usually Goose is a little bit more valuable. annoying so they're just gonna be able to flip Hadana's climb Okay. Hopefully no haste creature. We'll take those. Take that. And that's it. That's a game. So yeah, I, th I thought my opponent had that negate. I thought that was their last card, um, which is why I wanted to get the Nickel Bolas in play because like the turn two, how they didn't play anything on turn two and like held up that mana, it definitely really felt like they had negate. But then also on turn four, whenever they, and that's why I didn't play the Searcher's Cancel on turn two. And, but then on turn four, when they shocked, I already had, knew they had negate, they had three mana and yet they shocked another blue source in. That's telling me they have double negate. Um... And so, yeah, I definitely thought their last card was that other negate after that. And so, and, and so even though I contempted in and, and took one negate, I definitely thought another one. So even if I, if I would just play the Ritual of Soda, I'd have the Nicol Bola still in hand. And we wouldn't be able to get it in front of that other counterspell. Okay, so we... We defeated a couple of blue-green decks, lost to another blue-green deck, lost to a green-red deck. Lots and lots of green decks there. Um, could certainly tune this better for green matchups. Obviously, I have it pretty combo-oriented. 
uh, combo and control oriented with the Angras, Ashiox, on Mordigos, that kind of stuff. Obviously, we could be playing more um, Noxious Grasps and just, you know, more removal spells, things like that. You may notice I don't have any counter spells in here, and that's really because of Fires of Invention. Uh, I don't really, I'm not really playing the gates. Instead, you know, we have like the duresses in the in the board where we can have duress, thought erasure, and stuff like that. Um, I think Olus is is a good historic deck. We didn't we haven't played against it today yet though. Um, so yeah, like there's there's just a lot of different card choices to use. Um, Angrath wasn't super impressive, but like I said, like we talked about, like it's not. Forgot you can't put the comment the comma in. Their search function doesn't do commas. Rao, Liliana, other good cards here. I think I'd want to just go like one and one. Um, but again, if, if you just keep on facing creature decks that are unloading their hand pretty fast, Angrath's not going to be as good. So probably want to take out one of those for an is it viceroy um they can just get you more cards uh that, that was definitely something that we were running running in a problem that we were running into is we didn't have enough cards to go along with the fires some of the times not all the time some of the times both nickel boluses of course were awesome hey steam flogger boss ggs Um, yeah, my hand was just pretty good there that game. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly uh, what you're supposed to do the last line. I, I wouldn't have minded, yeah, because just I understand that you just don't want to play just one creature. I just ended up having the Ritual of Soot. And, of course, the game, too, you just drew all your mana creatures. I think some of those mana creatures are, like, what you can sideboard out in the matchup, though. I don't think you need to have like all four goose or land plus land war elves. Like probably just goose. You probably just take goose out. Just keep land war elf because you know my plan's gonna be ritual of set and stuff like that. You need to just have threats. No, well, first masterminds acquisitions just a lot better than fave wishes for this format. I think. I mean, not necessarily a lot better because you can recycle fave wishes, but masterminds acquisition allows you to take any card in your main deck or sideboard which is just incredible getting any card you want, you know, like you can get your main deck cards and not, you know, like even after sideboarding, you know, you can go grab all your unmoored egos if you want those, or, you know, your nickel balls, dragon God, you know, you don't have to have good cards in your sideboard. Um, <laughs> you, you shaved one of each and yeah, you drew five of the six that were left. Um, but yeah, Drawn from Dreams obviously is very powerful with fires, but just like I talked about at the beginning of the video, this is not a Fires of Invention deck. I didn't just build the deck around Fires of Invention, as you can see how we're only playing the three copies. This is like a, a Grixis control that just has some fires in it to give it some more power at times. Um, but you know, like there's times like where the Fires of Invention looks pretty bad uh, because of that, and you know, Royal Scions is in there to help a little bit with looting extra lands or looting extra fires away. But yeah, you, you can certainly build your deck around Fires of Invention more. The pro I just don't I don't love it because those decks, while they they like building Grixis around Fires of Invention, while your deck looks awesome when you do have Fires of Invention, because you know then you get to you know do your Drawn from Dreams and and your um, Fae of Wishes, you know all that kind of stuff. You know you, your curve your curve is just really high and your deck's really clunky. And any games that you don't have Fires of Invention, it's really tough to win because so much so many of your cards cost four plus mana. Um, and so I wasn't really interested in building the deck like that, but obviously that's, that's another option. That's another option to go towards. Could certainly, yeah, it could certainly take out fires completely, play some counter magic, but I, I don't know. Fires is just so powerful. We saw like some of those turns being able to play, you know, multiple things, you know, being able to play Bedevil and plus Nicol Bolas in the same turn, like where we kill their Planeswalker, then play Nicol Bolas, tick up. Um, and you don't have to use Nickel Bulls to kill their Planeswalker. It looked really good, though, too. Um, so, 
lots lots of lots of ways to go. Obviously, playing more Noxious Grasps after those after that league seems like I should be playing all four Noxious Grasp. Obviously, uh, Cast Down and Tyrant's Corn are b- both very average. Noxious Grasp could be better than those, but the the problem is 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 the mono red matchup. As I mentioned before, pretty worried about the mono red matchup, and that's why we have Cast Down and Tyrant's Corn in here. Um. Contempt is also just a card that you can play against mono red. That's why I have I, that's why I have another contempt in here where it, contempt is just fine against those green decks. It's not nearly as good as noxious grass, but you can still play this against mono red. So that's why that's why I have a another contempt in the board instead of a third noxious grasp. Um. Anyway, there we go. That's Grixis control. Uh, fun deck to play, but um. Like we talked about, it's it's no this is nowhere near a finished product. There's just so many options. Um, so it's tough building the control deck right away, but fun to play. As can playing as Kanta and Nickel Bulls, the Ravager again, good times, and Angrath too. No fire, no steel. All right, so if you're watching this video later on YouTube, I hope you hit that like button over there, and of course feel free to leave comments. I would appreciate both of those. But thank you so much for watching some Grixis Control, and I'll see you for the next video.